Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this. Um, okay. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, this is going to be a deep dive into your love life, into some present energy in terms of love and then i pull some cards for the future in terms of love all right so i mean overall the, the reading looks good for some of you you need to be weary but let's see uh we'll start with the cards that are face down okay and this is all about love so all right so you are my sunshine all right so someone is saying look you are my sunshine or this is what you say about this person somebody can feel like you're the one you bring a lot of happiness a lot of contentment a lot of joy into life maybe even positivity you know maybe this person hasn't let in or let you in on how much you mean to them how important you are to them their life and just maybe even their emotional or mental health i'm hearing you're different aquarius Okay, and now if uh, some of you could be dealing with someone, look, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. You know, it's the easiest and simplest rule to live by. If it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. Now we know that sometimes the truth can sound outlandish and crazy, but there are very few times in our lives when the truth is just that. But more than not, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. It's for, so for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who says things and they can be trying to bait you maybe pull you back in, give you all these promises, these hopes, these dreams, build you up, maybe even to just let you down. This is somebody who can make promises. They have no intentions of actually fulfilling any of them. They just want your attention, your affection, your energy. Wow, we've got a con man, a fraud, a liar. It's all cap. You know, the kids are saying that. It's all cap, it's all lies, all right? Um. We've got some, so we got lies showing up twice in this card and in, in this card. So we got somebody who is just not being truthful. Oh, I also got somebody's holding back exactly how they feel about you. And this is how they feel about you. Um, I don't know. There might be a level of distrust or not being able to open up or be vulnerable. So I need to act as if, you know, I am maybe the fair male. I am neutral or disinterested in the Aquarius, or this is what you're doing, Aquarius, um, in order to keep somebody captivated, chasing me, chasing after the relationship, maybe to keep the relationship alive. Somebody is making you do all of the work, maybe in terms of reaching out and making dates and just putting all the energy into the relationship when they really feel like this about you. You are their sunshine. Um, somebody could be playing games here. I think they're playing the wrong game though. Um, I don't know how far that's going to get them. This could be somebody who lives at a distance from you or there is distance between the two of you right now. Maybe you haven't seen each other in a while. Maybe you haven't talked or you haven't had uh, a serious talk. Uh, maybe this person travels for work. Some of you, you might be dealing with somebody who gets around or maybe they were in that energy where they, you know, they were all over the place. Um, they had a rotation of people. Um, Someone is coming up very fair, very neutral. This could be their skin color also, skin tone. Um, it just seems as if I feel like with all of these cards here, somebody is definitely holding back from you because then we have True Gem and it talks about, again, you are my sunshine. Um, somebody feeling like you are a true gem you are a diamond in the rough you are a, a unicorn you are a great find this card also can talk about the least expected person the person that you least expect unexpectedly surprises you with maybe a gift jewelry something this is your birthday season aquarius and happy birthday um so maybe the the least expected like you would never expect this person to actually pull out all stops or at least do anything for you not at this magnitude um this is how this person feels about you or this is how you feel about them 
but it looks it, it looks good in terms of but somebody is playing a game and they're holding back they're playing a the wrong game though because i don't know how far the aquarius is going to let that go or aquarius this could be you playing that game I don't know, someone may just become disinterested because it's too much of a chase and someone just doesn't know where they stand with the other person. So it's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just continuously showing up for this relationship. I'm out, the one doing all of the work. I'm not getting any return on my efforts, so maybe I just need to bow out. That's how someone could take this. Um, but the cards want you to know that maybe somebody's holding back and then maybe you could just be dealing with a liar, somebody who is neutral in terms of maybe a relationship because they do get around. They have a lot of options. Okay. Um, maybe the universe will bless you with a true gem for some of you. That could be the story and you know, your life better than I do. So let's see, uh, what these soulmate cards have to say. All you need to know, all you need is to believe in yourself. So something about believing in you believe. I don't know, there could be a situation that kind of brought your your esteem down, your self-esteem, your temperament down, where you maybe you were discouraged in you in terms of maybe ever finding a, a real um, a real partner, a real life partner, a soulmate or a twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. Um, maybe this is also an energy of somebody feeling like they're running out of time or they're getting older. But all you have to do is believe in you. Uh, you also have peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. All right. So if you're trying to make somebody else your peace, do know that peace starts with you. You have to be peaceful and then you can start to give that. You can't give what you don't have. So for some of you, you're still at war within yourself or there is someone you're dealing with who's still kind of torn in terms of what they want. It's turbulent with in, in their mind and their heart space. They just all over the place. They got may have a lot of different options. They can't decide on you. You can't decide on them. Whom, wherever the energy fits, it's not a peaceful situation. It's not calm within um, somebody, and um, they don't have that to give. And maybe that's why it's kind of drama filled and turbulent when you deal with this person because they aren't at peace. Maybe with themselves. I heard like some somebody needs to accept their sexuality, bisexuality also. Okay. The future energy for the Aquarius looks rather interesting, but good. Um, all right. So there could be a woman, an older woman dealing with maybe a younger male. He's not that young, but he's younger than her. Okay. In the near future, this person could maybe dis uh disclose how they feel about you with the family room let you in on a secret maybe make you family or want you to be family maybe even make some proposal you got gift and true gem so something like a gift um some type of proposal coming back together with the lovers and this talks about contracts so maybe like again a marriage proposal maybe coming up for some of you which is really good someone wants you to be their family um, their mate, their long-term, uh, partner here. So that's really good. Somebody wants to take the relationship to the next level here. Um, very interesting. And for some of you, it, it's going to be a wealthy man. Um, and he could be your same age. This was a relationship that didn't get off the ground. This is somebody also who feels like they want to come in and be your provider, your comforter. Uh, this is somebody who has a lot of opportunity. Maybe they want to let you in on, maybe, I'm mean, like family wealth. I don't know, somebody could be holding that back from you, um, that they have a lot of uh, money. Yeah, some of you are expecting a um, judgment, a court case in the near future also. And now we have a privileged lady showing up. And she is the uh, counterpart to the wealthy man. This is his wife or, you know, whatever. Um, it's like somebody wants the relationship to kind of build up to this. Like somebody want to let you in on the fact that with them, you could be the privileged lady. Somebody is expecting also this. I mean, someone is expecting judgment in terms of the court of law or some court or legal matters. A lot of hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true for some of you, like a miracle, like somebody shifts. You got gifts coming up again. It is your birthday season again. 
So you could be having a lot of gifts. Um, let's see what the Sabilas have to tell you for the future also. Yeah, foe. So something is in direct comparison of what it is you say you really want with foe showing up here. Um, friend. Okay, so you got a loyal, again, a loyal, confidant, uh, understanding, energy here. S servant. Somebody is too yielding or was too yielding in a relationship. Somebody was just too giving. Somebody is doing all of the work. Back to doing all of the work. Somebody's making somebody work hard. We got three feminine energy. So maybe the feminine is doing all the work. Faithfulness. It looks like um, you're going to get a yes answer and approval if you're waiting for something like that. Um, a relationship can go to a higher level of commitment. Again, another yes answer. You can get some privy, some information that maybe you weren't privy to in conversation with. Someone could have a conversation with you and you're going to get, yeah, this is like a final verdict. And um, it's like you're weighing the pros and the cons of a situation. Maybe you get an offer or a settlement offer. You have to weigh if this is what you want to take. Somebody's putting you through a test here where you've been put through a test. And you're kind of like, somebody is trying to see if they should move forward with you or vice versa. Someone's holding on to hope in terms of this relationship. Maybe, it, again, anticipation coming up again with uh, when you had the, uh, the court card in the other deck. So it's like anticipating, um, just waiting in the near future and to just believing in a positive outcome. And that's where, where you need to be, believe in yourself. Um, yeah, maybe resting on your faith, especially for some of you who feel like you're getting too older or you're getting older. It's not going to happen for you. You could be dealing with someone who is just, um, maybe self-serving, a pleasure seeker desires you, uh, they're craving you, maybe even wishful thinking here. Uh, especially if you are, some of you get kind of hot and bothered here especially if you and your person are at a distance or maybe you haven't been together in a while. So it's like, you just, you want to jump somebody's bones enemy. So something is, um, contrary to what it is you, to what you're trying to build. Something is enemy. Uh, there's too much, uh, discord strife between you and something else. Somebody could also be looking at your money, your fortune and trying to, um, get a, a part of it or a piece of it. Someone could be not showing you the real them. Got despair showing up. Somebody is at an, an inability to cope with the fact that maybe you guys are over. You got despair showing up again, maybe because they cheated, they lied. Wow, you got fortune showing up again. They see how fortunate you are, maybe in your occupation, maybe in what you do for a living and that you have high honor. And with you, they could have had wealth, but they, they squandered it. They squandered the opportunity. And now they're anticipating or they're thinking of, and they have you in deep thought about, about you, about what it is you're doing. Let's get you some advice moving forward, Aquarius. For some of you, you cut somebody off. It's a no. It's a hell no in terms of going back to this person. And they're in deep regret because they 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 um, maybe fumbled the opportunity with you. They squandered the opportunity with you. Now let's see how fortunate you are. Some money is coming in definitely for a lot of you. And somebody's going to say, wow. Oh my gosh, I got to get back to the Aquarius or I want to be with the Aquarius. This is somebody who is, you know, green eyed, um, green eyed monster, maybe even jealous or materialistic in some way. This is somebody who is looking at you through a different lens, a different scope. You know, maybe you're not, you didn't show them all that you have initially or what you were capable of or what you are doing or what you are working on. Aquarius and then it comes in for you and now this person really wants you back they want to manifest with you they want to be with you yeah heavenly signs are showing you about something maybe you could be seeing feathers coins uh, hearing voices I don't know 
something about your self-employment is going to take off while wow, take the next step now with in, in regards to self-employment because you've got a lot of fortune surrounding you or someone is seeing you do this dietary change something about changing your diet diet is what you of course what you consume on, on a uh, consistent basis um, now this could be your diet in terms of food but also change your diet in terms of what you allow to um, enter your psyche your emotional state maybe you watch very dramatic traumatic um you know like um tv shows on on television maybe you watch the drama um the uh what is it the the i can't even think of it um the reality tv you know um you need to change something that you're doing yeah some of you this is your body all together because you got body changes coming out so some of you just need to change what you're eating how you're drinking some of you you need to rest in sobriety or you need to you know maintain your sobriety if that is uh drug and alcohol and for some of you this is like sober thinking again back to what you're feeding your psyche your mind some of you are overloading on tarot on drama you got some decisions to make about some adult children Let's see. I knew it. I knew it was coming out. I knew it was coming out. And it came out funny. Windfall. So some of you are going to have money come in. We saw that. Um, can't get into focus. It's got that glare. All right. So windfall. Um, so money could be coming in. A large sum of money that can change your life. Good luck also. It's going to be an end of an era. Maybe a tough time. A struggle. It's over. You still got sentimental or leftover feelings for something or someone or someone has those for you. But you're going to rest in some realization and have some epiphany about someone or someone is going to have this about you, especially when they see you in this energy. Windfall in the end of an era, a tough time, uh, an era where you had to work hard for. Um, maybe you, this will be um, the summertime in your life. Summertime just speaks about a more peaceful, calm, fun, happy, joyous, bright time in your life. So you're, you're coming into the summertime of your life and someone's going to see you. And that's funny because we have the sunshine here. You are my sunshine. Someone's going to see you shining bright and they're going to be attracted to that Aquarius. And the cards want you to know that. Um, use discernment. Uh, yeah, use discernment in terms of dealing with anybody. Uh, allow them to come back. Allow them to, yeah, allow them to come back, allow them to kind of enter your space again, because it could, it could all be trickery, especially with that thief and despair coming up. Somebody feels like they missed the boat with you. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, again, somebody feels like they're running out of time. And they're just not sure if they're going to ever get what they really want. And, and then they're, now they're going backwards. They're digging in the past. And, and, and the trash is what I heard. Trying to bring other people or old people back to their, their new life. Nope, leave them there. Somebody really needs therapy or they need to go to a doctor. Somebody is just not serious, okay? And that's why they need to go and get some therapy. But they want a reunion with you. They want to come back. There's still some unresolved issues. It's like they make you number one. They make you number one um, figuratively, not literally, because there's other people. Somebody's doing a lot of thought of how to change something, maybe even how to get your forgiveness. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. A lot of you got some money coming in, Aquarius. Let's put our money bags down in the comment section. Um, if you're doing something in terms of your own occupation, your business, your job, or you know that a windfall is coming into you, put your money bags down in the comment section so we can manifest corporately. Um, and if you are, uh, yeah, money bags money bags that's what we're gonna stick to i was gonna say something else but anyway put the money bags put the money signs whatever your denomination is in your country put them down there in 
the comment section because we're going to bring in this energy collectively. I had someone email me um, and they said they had posted something down in the comment, like on one of the readings they had, I don't know, I told everybody to post stars or something like that. Anyway, it said that the next day they got a, a very important call and opened some doors for them. I don't know, you know, so they want to do a tribute that to us collectively, you know, manifesting. So we'll take it, right? So anyway, put your money bags down there so I can get some more emails from some of you who say, look, I came into a large sum of money. All right, so um, nothing but good news, good luck, or windfall. And, and it looks like you're going to have love, too. Aquarius, many blessings to you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Um, what else can you do? Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could learn the Tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.